I both know what Valen meant to our operation. She was our chief scientist, one of our most valuable assets. With your permission, I'd like to lead this operation personally. I was able to get you out of Advent's clutches. Maybe I can do the same for her. Commander, I would strongly advise you have our forces equip the specialized weapons we recovered from the field. Their unique capabilities may prove invaluable on this mission. Good point, Doctor. Let's gear up. Continually monitoring the energy signatures we detected near the target site. Possible subterranean activity detected. Strong interference blanketing the area. Sensors are unable to penetrate the rock face. We still have a steady read on Balin's. Biological readings in this area are erratic. In addition to several species of alien. Hold on, Doctor. We've got something. The data must be preserved at all costs. You must hurry! Take this and find Bradford! It's her. But fortunately, her friend never made it to the evac point. I had hoped to meet my predecessor under less extreme circumstances. Still, I have tracked her signal to an area not far ahead. Good. Lead the way, Doctor. We're going dark. I share your reservations about this species. There's something different about these creatures. They appear almost underdeveloped. Perhaps an earlier stage of growth or some sort of precursor organism. Just as long as they're not bulletproof. Without the introduction of human DNA, these creatures once operating under the guise of thin men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. We've got a lot of skulls down here. Human skulls. Someone's been decorating this place. With honor, I lead. to restore portions of Dr. Valen's personal research logs. I will begin patching through what I can immediately. <coughs> Testing. System dictation. This is Dr. M. Valen. Initial entry. It has taken me longer than I care to admit, but the secondary power system is finally operational. Enough so that I can move on to more compelling work. Over 
watch. There can be no doubt. Just about everything that walks or crawls. While attempting to salvage materials from what appeared to be a totally inert storage system, I made an astonishing discovery. A single prior stasis unit remained intact and occupied. This changes everything. Not sure I like the sound of that. genetics facility. With the damage to these containment units being so severe, I can only imagine the work that was being done here. Was she living out here? Just what the hell were you up to, Wallen? Reloading weapon. Scan priority one. Order's confirmed. On the move. Affirmative. Covering now. Our fate will prevail. On my way. Overwatch confirmed. Three unique, viable embryos recovered from the surviving cryostasis unit. I now have a rare opportunity, one never afforded to me during my time with XCOM. I am free to pursue a research directive of my own choosing. Rouse confirmed. Good luck. 
Signatures approaching your position. Readings are erratic. Difficult to pinpoint. How many signatures, Doctor? Unable to determine at this point. Negative damage. Heads up, people! genetic blockers on the specimen's DNA, allowing the repressed traits to flourish. Well, subject Alpha and Beta show promise. It is subject Gamma I find the most intriguing. I believe this may be the last of them. 
Central. I am not detecting any additional signatures. Understood. Let's take them out and find Ballin. That all you got? Subjects Alpha and Beta both continue to exhibit exaggerated, sometimes erratic variations on their traditionally observed behavior. Subject Gamma has grown to become something else entirely. Behind those eyes, there is an intelligence that I have not witnessed in any unaltered specimens of its kind. traces of human DNA deeper in the facility. It just might be. drop in temperature directly ahead. Such a large discrepancy defies any natural explanation. Something tells me that won't be the worst of our problems, Doctor. Tracking route to target. The genetic fabric of their subordinate races knows no bounds. It occurs to me that this is the first male of the species. There's not as we can help it. Fallen. Unable to tell from this distance. Life signs are being obscured by... I believe this would be Subject Gamma. Fallen created a Viper King. Just what we needed.
Stay alert for rapid movement as it attempts to reposition itself. Central, the concentrated breath of that creature is reading at incredibly low temperatures. You are at risk of severe tissue damage if exposed. Good to know, Doctor. Hitting them now. log entries on this Viper King now. I saw it for a moment at the containment facility. Gamma, the creature has grown remarkably since its escape. Had the rest of the team not arrived, I am sure I would not be here now. Reports significant increases in bio density in the area. It is clear. We are not alone. I can no longer delude myself. Gamma is clearly communicating with others of its kind. Central, Dr. Valen's conclusion would appear sound. This Viper key will summon reinforcements until we can silence it permanently. You must focus your efforts. It's some sort of psionic rift. I cannot begin to fathom why Dr. Volin would have allowed it to have this ability. It's trying to make a break for it. Take it out before it gets away. Order confirmed. Moving out. Something tells me that's not the last we're gonna see of that thing. If we get another shot, we better make it count. We might have lost the big guy, but it looks like this area is finally clear.
essential. I am not detecting any additional life signs, human or otherwise.